Lavar slowly approached his brother in the tree. When he was sure he would not miss his target, he threw himself off the branch and onto his brother's back. <laughs> What's good, Sly Cruz? Your boy Sly. Hope you're having a lit day today. Now, this is a game I got off of itch.io. It's like set in a Lion King type Lion King type form. So I don't know. I never played it, but you can tell by looking at it. Like you know what I'm saying. And I love Lion King. This one's called Levar's Life. So I guess that's Levar. I don't know. But that lion, look fresh. Got a mohawk and everything. Got the pink ears popping. This is a great. This is some great cover art. I don't know. I like it. Got the nice little music popping. Got the, the settings, all that at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to jump in here. If you're new, smash the subscribe button. The subscribe button. I don't know why. Because this is... <laughs> Let's jump in here. Let's check out LeVar's life. See what this is about. I might have to move my camera. I don't know. The pain. Every bone in his body ached. Every muscle filled with a crippled pain. He slowly opened his eyes to look around. He he had survived, but for how uh, for how much longer? Six. What is six? six what? Five. Four. Uh, my camera's in the way. Lavar. Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. The morning sun has risen about halfway toward the middle of the sky by now. The cooler air meant the animals were more active. Everyone enjoyed a cooler day after the long, hot summer. Lavar, the youngest cub born to a small family of lions, was out playing as he always did, but today was special. After a week of not knowing where his favorite lizard had gone, he had finally found he had finally found her once again. Look at this, y'all. Y'all know I don't like reading, but let's take the hit today. The cooler air had brought her out to the sun. Herself and Lavar. Out to the sun. Herself and Lavar could not be more thrilled. Completely completely alone and without any cares in the world. He was playing hide and seek with her just to prove his friendship with the lizard was special and he could and he could always find her. I feel it. Lavar, that's him. Not Lavar Ball. You know, we're not talking about that one. Now where could she be? He bounced along till he came to her favorite tree. It wasn't hard to spot her hanging upside down from a large branch walking walking out to the end where she could sun where she could sun herself lavar smiled playfully so this is a tree where she at i don't see her hanging nowhere y'all see her hanging no oh, okay so that's your best friend lavar ah there she is he jumped onto the tree holding on with his claws he had never climbed before she had never gone so high Maybe that is where she had been hiding the past few days. Maybe so. One paw in front of the other, he slowly and awkwardly made it up the tree to greet his best friend. Gotcha, Lavar said. Hello, Squishy. He slid down around the branch to hang upside down and look at her. How the hell he hanging upside down? From his tail? Her eyes slowly turned and looked at the silly lion cub before continuing on. She knew him well enough to not be afraid of him. Yeah, he might, you know, other ones might want to eat you. Watching carefully, Levar, watching carefully, Levar tried to hold on to the lizard. Tried to hold on like the lizard. After a few steps, his back feet gave out and he scrambled up onto the branch, holding on tightly as some, as some bark fell below. It took a few moments to realize he was safe and stood up once again. Squishy, is that the, like the lizard's name? I can't walk like you. Why don't you walk up here? The lizard continued on, 
continue on her trick, not playing too much, not paying too much attention to him. Well, it's your turn to find me now, so get ready to count to ten. I am going. I am a good hider, though, so you. <laughs> Lamar with a surprise face. He don't want to leave. Lavar, Lavar, where are you? The cub stopped and crouched down at the sound of someone coming. He carefully approached the other side of the tree and jumped onto the thickest branch, looking out toward the stranger nearing him. Randing? Don't worry, Squishy. It is just my brother Randing. He was about to get scared. He was about to be gone. The lion approached the tree as the as the cub stayed hidden. He sighted and sat down in the shade. So that's your brother? Twins, except he got two pink eyes. You got one. Be still, Squishy. We can't let him hear us. Why does he keep running off like this? We need to go we need to get going, Randing said. Lavar quietly watched as his brother lifted his tired dirty paws to clean it they did one of those he is normally here lavar lavar what do you think squishy should i surprise him with a pounce yes do it no be nice to your brother yeah let's hit him with a cool little pounce yes do it lavar slowly approached his brother in the tree when he was sure he would not miss his target, he threw himself off the branch and onto his brother's back. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Randy, ah, what the? Randy had to have jumped five feet into the air. He landed on the ground, panting hard. <sighs> With his claws stretched out, I feel like a teacher. LeVar fell off safely into a pile of leaves laughing. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha, bitch. Ha ha ha. I got you, Randy. You were scared. LeVar slid out of the leaf pile, laughing too hard to stand. Well, yeah, you jumped out of a tree at me lions don't just do that lavar that's all right bro it's just a joke you act like i jumped out with my claws out here and did those ha 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 he think it's funny now oh dang he pretty big standing side by side little baby well come on we had better get moving i already wasted most of the morning looking for you we have a lot of ground to cover today but what about he talking about his little bud. Squishy will be Squishy will be just fine. Come on, Lavar. Do you need me to carry you? No. Good, because I am sure I will have to later. I can walk. Don't worry about me. Nothing was said. Nothing was said for probably the first hour as they walked together. The sky slowly started to grow dark as the rains, as the rains in the distance started to move in. The rainy season was here. Finally, LeVar was the first to speak up. Okay, so why the big brother didn't make the move? The big brother is supposed to, you know, speak it up. Where are we going, Randy? The lion sighted and looked down at his little brother. Huh. Tuh. I have already told you, LeVar, we are going to our new home. So this one is Randing, which was on the cover when we started. So I thought that was LeVar. No, this is LeVar. But we already have a home. And if mom come back, she won't be coming back for us, LeVar. Wow. That's a dad move. How do you know that? Look, just don't worry about her. Our life is going to be different now well what about squishy can't she come with us too no 
She would be better off in the tree, Lavar. And happier too. Why? Wow, what happened? Dot dot dot. Silence once again came over the two brothers as they walked together through the grass, heading off to an unseeable destination. Lavar hated the thought of leaving Squishy behind like this. He did not. He didn't. He did not really even get to tell her goodbye. Being the only cub, see if now if I hid, maybe the story would have went differently because I jumped out on him. You know, but. Being the only cub his age in the small family, in a small family, Squishy was the only friend he really had up to this point. From the moment his eyes were open till now, Squishy was Squishy and Randy were probably the closest animals Lavar had been with. Wow. With the death of his father, there had been much danger in the area. Any male looking to take over their small pride would surely kill Randy and Lavar if they were to stay. Their only hope was to join another pride that Randy had heard about. So, so where are we going? It better, it better not be too far. My paw's already sore. I told you it would be a long walk, Lavar. We still have. I feel crazy saying that name because I'm thinking about LeVar Ball. <laughs> it would be a, I told you it would be a long walk, LeVar. We still have a long way to go. If we are lucky, we will we will make it there. We will make it there in time for sunset. I'm thinking about something else. Will there be cubs my age there? From what I was told, the king has a couple of sons and the pride has a few cubs around your age. You can make some real friends. Sad. Not that Squishy was not not that Squishy was not a real friend, Randy said. But you need some lion friends too. I am sure you will like them. Of course, yeah, you can't just be playing with a lizard all day, bro. You know? They're quiet as hell. They sad at each other. Or mad at each other, I should say. The day went on and the two continued to walk only stopping to drink. For much of the walk, Randy carried LeVar. <clears throat> this, was much preferred, this was much preferred to both of them. There was no need for more awkward conversation while he was being carried. Just as Randy has promised, they were arriving just as the sun had dipped below the horizon and the land was filled up with the black darkness of night. Oh, Randy, we made it. I need you to wait here and stay hidden while I'm gone. If you feel threatened where you are, I want you to climb that tree over there. It shouldn't be too hard to climb. If you are scared, you'll find a way. Oh, he can climb up that tree. You see, he jumped off one on the yellow big ass head. So he'll be up that tree. Can you do that? Do not go anywhere else then that don't do not go anywhere else other than that tree or by this rock if the king does not welcome us we will need to make a quick escape and i need to know where you are understandable once i know it's safe to bring you in i will come right back here to get you i promise oh i'm tired okay lavar said i won't be long i promise lavar walked off he disappeared matter of fact Lavar walked over by the rock and lowered himself down next to it. He was very tired and not in the mood to argue. He just wanted to get somewhere safe so he could finally sleep. He watched as his brother disappeared through the tall grass in the area. He left. He left out a sight. <sighs> and started to close his eyes. Listening to the tree, listening to the silent of the night, it seemed way too silent, way too quiet, silent, quiet, bah, where he lived. Where he lived, there was always some sort of noise. Though, here even the crickets seemed quiet tonight. Oh, he wanted, he wanted those. A rustling in the grass near him caught Lavar's attention. 
His eyes flashed open and he looked toward the noise. Nothing silent. Nothing silent once again. His eyes closed. His eyes closed. He heard what he was sure was some whispering. Hey, LaVar. What you doing, bitch? This time, he knew something was going on. He got up to his feet with some newfound energy and looked around trying to see if there was any sign of what was around him. His heart racing. Ooh, why am I tired? Squishy? No, it's not. He whispered to he whispered the name of his friend, but there was no reply. Not even a sound. Lavar looked around for his brother. He knew he should not leave, but what if but what if something was going to get him? Should he check it out? No, he should climb that tree like his brother told him. Stay put. Check out the noise. Now, nah, we was told to stay put. So, I'm staying my ass right here. What the hell I look like? A white person? I'm not finna. Uh, hello, Billy? Are you over there? Uh. No. So, let's stay put. LeVar did not want to get into any trouble with his brother around to protect him. It would be silly to go off wandering too far. Exactly. What if it was another animal that wanted to make make him their lunch? LeVar turned LeVar turned to look at the tree. Excuse me, guys. He could make a run for it if LeVar. Ah! LeVar spun around to see another cub at his back. His claws extended. He swatted the cub across his face as hard as he could. He was much quieter than he was much quieter than the other cubs could anticipate. Nah! Cutting the cub's face as he went. Though this is the only stop the cub for a moment. He was probably much more skilled than Lavar. Was at fighting. Was at fighting, and if he did not think quicker, this may not. This may not end well for him. Uh, Lavar threw himself at the other cub, teeth bared, as teeth bared and hair risen. As long as he kept, as long as he kept at him, the cub would not be able to throw in a strike of his own. Standing on his high, standing on his hind legs. The cub pushed at LeVar to stop the advance on him. The advance is on him. LeVar acted quickly, standing up to counter the advantage the cub had gotten on him. The two glared at each other. <laughs> With only slightly twitched LeVar's eye, the cub went for his neck. They catching a fade? Can I see this? His paws went to the strange cub's chest as he pushed as hard as he could, pushing the cub backwards into the ground. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. Ah! LeVar growled. LeVar growled as the forces pushed him back. He felt a sharp pain in his upper arm. As he lifted as he lifted himself from the dirt, he noticed he was bleeding. His eyes flashed toward the other cub as he growled. No one had ever cut him before, and he was not too happy. Oh, what the hell? He got friends pulling up. What is going on over there? Oh, shit. Where, where is Randy when we need him? Pull up and come get these dudes, bruh. Your Highness, you are bleeding. Oh. It is nothing. I just startled him. Yeah, all right. The other club slowly got up to his feet blinking several times for the blood that ran down his face and to his eyes a larger stronger cub approached lavar his claws out and ready to strike him randing better show up after i press enter you dare draw blood of my younger brother so is that one do you know the crime you have just committed i am bleeding too LeVar sat up and did not flinch, did not flinch or cry as the cub approached him. Shit, might as well not. He already caught a fade. 
boy hot now. He wanna fight some more. Yeah, but who are you? Hey, nobody. Just wait till our father hears about this. You will be in trouble. I believe the penalty for drawing blood to a royal is death, your highness. So more bloodshed? The other prince just glared at Lavar with his comment. With, with his comment. I don't know if it's like a commitment or some shit. His preference. His presence was very dominant within the strange group of cubs. We will have to wait and see. But I assure you, our father would be. Our father will not be too pleased with someone hurting his son the way. The way you did. He pulled up on me! Sneaky ass son of a bitch! Even his least, even his least favorite son. How do you have a least favorite son? Hey, yo, kids. He hurt me too. If if he didn't just jump out of nowhere, get out of my sight before I do worse to you. Yeah, all right. Lavar limped over towards the rock and sat down, glaring over the cubs. You know what, y'all? This story is getting crazy. Whatever, I am waiting for my brother to get here. Boom, boom, there he is. Randy, what is going on here? Everyone turned to see the largest adolescent lion approaching a little group of cubs. Yeah, it's my bruh, Randy. And he got a mohawk, so, you know, he not with that bullshit. Your brother here just provided my younger brother, the prince, with a lovely cut on his face. We were just discussing how my father will be about that when we get home. The larger cub walked over to his younger brother and licked his face where the cut was before looking him over. Come on, Zane. Let's get let's let's get you home. Zoop zoop, they dipping off. Okay, so that's us right here. He pissed off. Randy approaches Lavar as the cubs walk off into the distance. Great. I leave you alone for a few minutes, Lavar. And you've managed to get into a fight with one of the princes of your new pride. He pulled up on me. Can I get my say so? He cut me too. He jumped out at me. What was I supposed to do? Get my ass beat? It was an accident. Randy sighted and turned around from Lavar. Nigga, please. Come on, Lavar. I will talk to the king, but for now. We are allowed to stay here. Just stop getting into trouble. Oh, this is where the king kick in at. I believe that's the king. So, guys, we're going to wrap this up right here. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed it. Get this. Y'all going to have to get this to 50 to 55 likes if y'all want to come back in here. Because this is a lot of reading. And, y'all, this is the most y'all ever heard me read. I do not read. But this is this got something to do with Lion King type stuff. So, I'm into it. 50 to 55 likes and I'll jump straight back in here with another episode. That being said, man, i catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.